through the TRN page um, and you you had videoed last Sunday you had videoed um, when you were on the outside of Leo's thing and in the background I could hear the audio it was when I was on the phone with Wrangler's Fosters that whole thing I'm like okay I need you to take a deep breath and calm down explain to me what happened I just need you to calm down I'm kind of cracking me up as I listen to it because I I've got the phone up here. I'm not even looking at the video. I'm just listening to the whole thing. I was like, wow, that actually went on for quite a while. I was on the phone. Oh, so. I'm glad you kept your cool. Yeah. No, she didn't She didn't make a sound all day Thursday. Friday, she gave a grumble to a friend of one of the volunteers that came in. But as soon as she stepped inside, she was fine. Now, yesterday, she barked quite a bit. She did bark with that couple earlier, but that's when signs you know. Yeah, whenever she barks at somebody, is get them to give her treats. That's why I was starting to say there was a lady on Friday who proceeded to lecture me about what a bad way to do that. And I said, you need to understand something. You're looking at I'm rewarding this behavior, the bark, and so that's not what I'm doing. She's barking because people that come up here, it's the barrier reactivity. I said, I'm dealing with the problem, not the symptom. The symptom is her barking. The problem is her barrier reactivity. I'm trying to fix that. So by giving people treats to give to her when they come up, she doesn't bark. She starts to associate people coming up to the, the kennel with positive things. <laughs> That's called counter conditioning. Did she leave understanding or did she not? She's like, I still think you're wrong. I said, Well, you're entitled to your opinions. Have a nice day. And that was kind of my cue, like, get out. Yeah. And she did. She didn't go any further. She turned around and walked out the door. Have you done with people like that? Okay, take it from here and see. I have a lid, but you better not. That's right, Tori gets blamed yeah. for everything today. Yeah. Everything that happens today, yeah. that's good. It's good. It's good. It's all on us. It's bad. It's all Tori. Why do you say she's 
um, because as soon as he's doing anything like that, he's, that he should, like he got down on the floor with her, mm -hmm. and she came over and she was licking his head and everything, and he leaned back, and she's like, "You can't do that. You need to get up off the floor. You can't lay down like that because you know." A couple of times and, I felt like she kind of partially too. corrected him, mm -hmm. but this has been his whole life. And you know. he said he felt it too. Yeah, okay. he's, he's definitely he's somewhere on the spectrum. For sure. yeah. yeah. But he listens to her. I mean, he, yeah, he, he responds. He doesn't respond get to negative or anything. No, not at all. Not at all. Very. And then, do you remember that other guy that used to come in? Um, he would come in and visit. I know you guys. Oh yeah, I saw them when they were, um, yeah, I think, I want to say, maybe it was, it wasn't a chance, I think it was something else, I remember seeing some picture of them coming out, 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 coming out,